Hey everyone, this is Zephyr, and welcome to the Bailiwiki channel, where we teach everyday DMs how to create truly amazing experiences for their players by combining art and technology. We also make modular systems and scenes that you can use without any setup. Today, I want to go through a rapid fire tutorial for a new interactive element that I've been working on for our modules, and that is a key locked door in Foundry Virtual Tabletop using Monk's active tile triggers. Here we can see that we have one character that has an iron key in their inventory, and another character who does not have a key in their inventory. When either of them goes to click on the door, if they don't have the key, they'll get a message indicating that they don't have the key to go through. As soon as we add the key to their inventory though, then they can click on it, and after a little bit of suspense, they are going to be able to open the door and shout triumphantly that I've got it, and open the door and pass through. To create that, I'm going to throw up the tile config here really quickly. This is pretty straightforward, so pause now and take note of these actions at your leisure to be able to recreate this. I'm only going to go into a few pieces that are really important here. The main action that is allowing us to do this with this door is the filter by items in inventory action, where we are filtering our current tokens for the item name Rusty Key in here. It can be anything you want, including that original iron key we had in there. And then we check the entity count. And if we have no current tokens, that is no tokens with the correct key in the inventory, we instead go to this anchor called no key. Speaking of anchors, they're really helpful, not just for redirecting, but also for keeping yourself organized. For example, our first anchor of key is just there to help me stay organized and know this is what happens if they do have the key. Going through that, we have several different steps. The important thing at the end is we are going to deactivate the tile. That way, after we've already unlocked the door, we don't inadvertently keep opening it whenever we try to click on closing the door. Down here in the no key section, we have some flavor text that is optional, but the important thing to note here is that we get to this anchor by having no current tokens available. So anything that you do to tokens here needs to be applied to the triggering token or triggering player rather than the current tokens. That's going to do it for this quick tutorial on creating a key locked door in Foundry. In the comments, let me know what are you going to put behind a locked door in your games. And if you found this video helpful, follow our channel to keep up with all of our latest content and consider becoming a patron. Not only do you support the channel, but you'll also get access to all of those modular systems and scenes that we've ever made, including this great library of interactive elements and a deployable version of this key locked door. This has been Zephyr for the BaileyWiki channel. Thanks so much for watching, happy gaming, and have a good one.